Good morning children. Uh, today we are going to have a math activity on constructing spiral diagram for the square root of natural numbers. We did in our class when we had our theory tutorial, we understood what, what was the explanation of Pythagoras theorem when we have a right angle triangle where this is the height and this is the base. Base is of one unit and altitude or the height is of one unit is always the square root of the two units. If I write it is always as per Pythagoras the altitude square plus base square gives us the hypotenuse square. So in this case, because we have altitude as 1, so we write 1 square. We have base as 1 unit also, so we write 1 square. So what does it give us? It is nothing but 1 plus 1. And if, we are, if I have this is hypotenuse square, if I have to find out the hypotenuse, what do I do? I have to find out the square root of 2, which is hypotenuse. So with this knowledge, we are going to do a paper folding activity today and we'll find out square roots of various natural numbers with the method of paper folding activity. So let's do. Here I have cutouts for all of you. These are rectangular in shape. We take this, we place it on our desks. We have a scale for us and a pencil. We take anything as one unit, you can take one inch or maybe two inches as one unit or maybe four centimeters depending on your choice. So we start, just take a careful note. See we are starting from the right hand side of the rectangular sheet. I have taken this as my starting point of the spiral. This, is, this dot is the starting point of the spiral and I am placing my scale. Say we are taking 4 centimeters as our one unit. See I am marking 4 centimeters on the scale and I am making a line. Right? Let us mark these points. Let this be say O. Let this be say P. Right? Now I will show you how to fold this paper. See, I have written O, I have written P. Now I am going to fold this, you have to hold it towards you and see you have to fold the paper along the line. See? Along the line I am folding the paper. Make the crease. See, we have made the crease. If I open it will look like this. See, the crease is made on O and P. Now, the next, this is of P. Right? Now we have to construct a perpendicular. Right? So, I am holding this back to show you how we did. The next step is to make a perpendicular. See, this is my point P. This is my point P. I am holding it so that I get a perpendicular. See how I have folded. See? And when I open it, isn't this making a perpendicular? This line and this line, they are perpendicular to each other. So we, we draw, we mark it with our pencil on P. This is the point P and I am marking again one unit on this because that is what I want. Right? So on P I am making again 4, unit, four centimeter, which is my one unit. Right? And I am marking this point as P1. Okay? Now I join them. What does Pythagoras theorem tells us? That if it is a right angled triangle and both the base and the altitude are of one unit, then the hypotenuse is root 2. I will show you. Just give me a minute. This is one unit. This is one unit. Two. See, this is what I got, we, what we got. Now again, further, I have to find out after root two, I have to find out root three as well. So what do I do is, I 
again we take root 2 as base and fold the paper just see I am folding the paper along root 2 I am folding the paper along root 2 I will open and show it to you what I have done see I folded the paper along root 2 and again I want a perpendicular on point P1 now I want a perpendicular on point P1 so I fold the paper like this from point P I fold I am folding the paper from point P and how so that the line matches with this line see it is it has to match with this line to give me that perpendicular this fold is giving me the perpendicular when I open it see on root 2 you have made a perpendicular on root 2 you have made this perpendicular let us draw a line with a pencil to mark it again one unit because every time we are in increasing by one unit ok so again I have marked 4 cm which is our one unit so I am writing here one unit let us name this new point that we have got as P2 what is the next step? We have to join and make the hypotenuse again. So we get a new hypotenuse from O which should be what? Which should be what if we use Pythagoras theorem? Let us do it here and see. If we are starting with, I am sorry, I will use a marker. If we are using root 2 as base and 1 as altitude what will we get 2 plus 1 which is hypotenuse square so that means 3 is equal to hypotenuse square or root 3 is equal to hypotenuse this is what we are getting in the second step root 2 is the base root 2 is the base Altitude is one unit. Altitude is one unit. So what is the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is root 3. That means this, the new hypotenuse that we have got is root 3. So let us mark it. Now once again, so as to get root 4, similar method, once more I will show you. Again, now take root 3 as base. Take root 3 as base. made a crease on root 3 made a crease on root 3 now I want perpendicular on root 3 folding from P2 we got the perpendicular see perpendicular to root 3 as base this is the perpendicular we mark one unit on this and make the hypotenuse this will give us root 4 and let us name this point P3 this is one unit also and this is root 4 children if you continue doing this you will probably get a spiral which would look something like what I have brought for you see if you keep doing this if you keep repeating this your final spiral will look something like this this is giving you root 2, then root 3, then root 4, root 5, root 6, root 7. It will go on and on and you will get a big spiral. And what you have done is without any calculation, this was just for explanation, you have only paper folded and got the square roots constructed as a spiral. Thank you. Now you are going to construct it.